a great way to increase the rents up to market without increasing the amount of turnover you're naturally going to face when dealing with a, a property of this sort is to go slow. What I like to see is you come in, you take this building over, get everybody on your lease at the existing rents. That way, you know, you don't have to worry about evicting one of them. Say like one of them doesn't pay the very first month because, you know, these are inherited tenants. We don't know you know, what, what these tenants are going to do. They haven't been screened by us. They haven't been screened by you. So maybe the first month, if some somebody doesn't pay, you don't want to go to court without your own lease because then the tenant can lobby the excuse that they didn't understand who they were supposed to pay. They thought they were supposed to pay the old landlord, not you. And at the very least, what that does is that continues your case. And at the, at the worst, it can, it can make evicting that tenant tough. So ideally, you never want to ever ever go to an eviction court uh, and stand in front of a magistrate without the tenant being on your lease. So what I found the easiest thing to do, because by law, just so you guys are aware, by law, you have to accommodate existing leases. When you buy into a property, you buy the existing leases. You can't just say, hey, guys, you got four months left on your lease. I don't care about that lease. Here's my new lease. Sign it or you're getting evicted. Don't work that way. By law, the tenant has the right to just stay put on their existing lease. But if you go in and offer them the ability to sign a new lease with you and you say, hey, man, I'm just going to have you sign a new lease with me so you understand how I do business. And guess what? Nothing major is going to change. Your rent is going to remain the same for the next 12 months. You're locked in. You don't have to worry about a rental increase or me pushing you out. You do that, tenants will happily sign your leases. And then if they decide to break the rules or run amok, not pay rent, boom, you go evict them immediately. And when you go in front of that magistrate, you got a slam dunk case.